Oh boy, here we go again. I made the mistake of going to Subway. If you guys don't know, make sure to watch my other Subway video. So I walk into Subway after playing my match of dodgeball. I play dodgeball every now and then. And I walk in to a couple fighting. They're sitting in line, fighting about who's cheating on who. Now while they're arguing about who's cheating on who, they both have their phones open to Instagram thirst traps. And I guess I should clarify, the couple is a girl and a guy. The girl is looking at men with big abs and big muscles. And the guy is looking at fitness videos of girls with the camera angle focused directly on their ass. So already very respectful. These people look like they're doing a bang up job in the relationship. So anyhow, I'm trying to like get past them to like order my sub and start that process. And for some reason, they just kept inching closer and closer towards me. Like I had some sort of gravitational pull for them to invite me into their argument which I didn't want to do. The girl's arguing about, hey, you hung out with Rebecca tonight and Sarah and Sasha. And the guy's like, well, you hung out with Dan and Brad and Mike. And the girl's like, well, those people were just being very friendly and nice to me and whatever else they're talking about. I don't know. I was trying to zone them out. And for some reason, they just kept inching closer and closer to me. Like I had some sort of gravitational pull. Like, I know I'm big boned and all that and pretty fat, but like, I don't think I have that much like gravitational pull. Now, both these guys seem to have been slightly intoxicated and it looks like they pulled up in some kind of truck and there's some guy sitting in the back seat of this truck that looked like his gasket was about to blow. He ended up busting out of the truck, running into the store, ran past this couple to head to the washroom, which was locked, and then kind of banged on the door and then left the store to go piss himself, I'm pretty sure. Anyhow, this story doesn't really have anything to do with uh, Subway. But if you're in a relationship talking about cheating, maybe don't do it publicly in Subway. And maybe don't do it while looking at thirst traps on social media. And maybe stay the fuck away from the person in line just trying to order their sub. <laughs> like, why were you guys getting so close to me, man? I felt molested. Also, go to couples counseling or something. God damn. Also, why do you think it's normal to cheat on each other like that? That was the other weird thing. They're just talking about how much they're cheating on each other and how much they're disrespecting each other. But it was like some sort of weird contentious like act of pride as if what they're doing is a good thing. That's not a good thing. That's not how relationships are formed or like maintained or like anything. I, I don't even I don't even know what that's called actually. Does anyone know what that's called? Let me know if you know what that's called because I have no clue what that's called. It's called a disaster. Anyhow, I don't know where I was going with this story. I kind of rambled on about something that I experienced. Um, I gave the girl my number.